Finally, here it is, the Apple Ultra Watch Titanium Starlight Alpine Loop. I decided to get this model. Initially, I said let's take the Ocean Band model, but only this one was available and, um, you know, um, I decided to get this one. So, uh, let's take it out of the box. This is the band, this is uh, Starlight, um, uh, Starlight Alpine Loop. Um, it looks uh, it looks very nice. I wasn't um, expected. I wasn't expecting to to like it very much because, as I said, um, I like that uh, um, uh, ocean band more because I don't know how this will um, uh, react uh, when you wash your hands and so on in contact with water. But I will test and I will I will make another video here. Anyway, uh, I decided to get this one. It feels uh, as a as a premium accessory my first contact with it uh, what I don't like I will uh, show you immediately the way that it hits your watch here when you when you close it but it's not a problem so um, this is the package basically for the band here it is you get some instructions you get also uh, you get uh, a small uh, book here for instructions how to how to use your watch basically and um, here we have uh, some other uh, papers okay here it is let's let's uh, put it here and let's go uh, back to the watch so this is it I was curious uh, already to, to test this one. Let's take it out. Indeed, the first contact with it, it's wow. It's a beautiful, beautiful device. I already, um, uh, I already uh, tested this uh, model in a showroom, but hey, this is it. It's, a, it's an impressive device. Um, basically you have um, a larger screen here and it feels larger compared with uh, the Apple uh, Series 8 even if the display um, it's almost the same uh, if you measure the size uh, but the fact that you have a flat display here uh, everything is changed uh, by, by this display I really really like it um, for specifications, I probably already know them, but I would uh, like to um, to summarize them here to uh, to to be very short. Basically, you get this um, uh, huge battery inside of it. it. This should be the main reason why to upgrade to to such a, such a watch. Uh, uh, Five hundred and forty-two milliamps. Uh, basically, you will get as far as I know two days, three days with this watch. Uh, I will test it and I will post another video. Um, the watch has 61 grams. This one has 1.9 uh, inch uh, display. The, the watch is water resistant and basically it's IP6X. Um, you get uh, swim proof, uh, dive proof and uh, up to 100 meters. Um, another interesting um, uh, change to this one display, this impressive um, Retina uh, LTPO OLED, it has 2000 nits and it looks beautiful. You get uh, 338 ppi, the resolution 502 by uh, 410, uh, 410 pixels. You get here dual speakers, which is incredible, and the sound is really, really beautiful. And um, the watch looks great. And another huge change, you get dual system for GPS uh, system. Basically, you get um, the L1 GPS and L5. And... Um, what that means basically the gps system uh, the l1 uh, uh, frequency has 35 satellites and um, 
that's a signal it's not so strong when you are in buildings uh, under trees and in uh, crowded areas and um, that's why the new system that l5 system uh, has uh, basically 17 satellites that will use a new technology and the accuracy will be uh, impressive as for the watch as you know uh, titanium case um, you get uh, sapphire crystal here ceramic back you get acceler accelerometer gyroscope heart rate monitor barometer always on um, uh, altimeter basically it's active all the time and also uh, compass you get uh, SPO2, VO2 max, um, temperature body and temperature sensor for the water. It's it's very really interesting and also a depth gauge for uh, for this one. So uh, let me unlock this one. This is the watch. This is how it looks. The digital crown feels great because i saw some videos uh, saying well it's not so nice to uh, to rotate it here no uh, i i really don't know why they are saying that because um the watch feels great and also the digital crown this is how it looks here it looks beautiful on hand and you have uh, you already know this uh, action button um let's let's put it on hand but first let me let me measure my um, my wrist in this way you will make an idea how um, let me get this one so I have um, my wrist basically has uh, 18 and a half centimeters something like that maybe 19 if you if you want to to move li like that so as you see here 18 and a half this is uh, this is basically uh, my uh, my size here for the wrist 18 and a half yes 18 and a half, 19 centimeters. I would say uh, 19 centimeters. Uh, this is it. And um, let me let me put this. It's very simple. Just insert it, and you will hear a click. Also here. I uh, I like this system. I will try also uh, a new band for uh, for this watch. This, this is the click and this is what I um, what I don't like here at this system because this can hit your screen and also the body here but as far as I saw on internet nothing uh, really happens this watch is almost indestructible so this is it let's let's secure it here something like, like that this is titanium by the way and this is the watch it looks great and as i said my wrist here has 19 centimeters let me uh, let me unlock it and i almost forgot here you have uh, this new charger I just got uh, my watch. I um, I only tested the watch and um, paired uh, paired the watch with my phone. So uh, we have a new braided uh, cable here. It looks really nice. I hope you you can see here the material. This is how it looks. USB Type C here, and basically this is it. Let's um, let's connect it here to a charger. I'm really excited with this watch. I uh, I was expecting uh, 
uh, sooner the watch but uh, the stock had a problem was a problem with the stock I don't I don't know what happened anyway I, I'm really glad that I got it and um, this uh, this uh, starlight Al alpine loop feels great on the hand as I said I will test it to see how it reacts in contact with water and how is how is the feeling on on the hand this is what matters so uh, this is the watch this is the action button when you when you touch it you can um, you can uh, assign for example some shortcuts i have here the torch i i think this uh, would be useful in certain uh, uh, situations one click on one click off if you rotate up like this you you get this incredible incredible watch face it looks really really impressive on it and beautiful and to go back to, to original watch face like this as i said the digital crown feels really great and don't worry you can rotate it very easy and uh, don't listen to to those um, saying that they prefer the s uh, the s8 s7 series um, um, digital crown because this is bigger it feels great the click it's uh it's changed it's not so easy easy to to press it but it feels really really nice don't get me wrong it's not hard to press it but you will feel a force um like this and um this is not a big watch because i saw a lot of reviews saying this is huge well this isn't huge this is an impressive uh, watch and i would call it a medium a medium size watch let me see if i find a ruler here here it is to make to make an idea about um, my hands sometimes the camera is um, it will change the perspective and the reality as you see here i have nine centimeters here and something uh, something like that to make an idea so seven centimeters here anyway um the idea is the watch looks and feels great here on the hand and uh, you have the possibility to to use your uh, your uh, carrier it has an e um, electronic sim integrated here i already have uh, that one active so you can use the watch without uh, without your phone anywhere you have um, access to uh, to cell uh, cellular and you can make phone calls here basically this is like a like a phone and uh, this is how it looks here on the hand to make to make an idea i will uh, i will make more um, more videos with this one and to make to make an idea what to expect from it how is the battery um, and uh, how is my experience with this watch well uh, i believe uh, at this point that this is the best choice to to get because um, it has a lot to offer starting with the battery a huge battery starting with um, this new flat display i i like it more than uh, uh, the rounded uh, display available on um, on uh, previous uh, generations and here it is let's let's see the compass okay this is how it works the watch has a lot of uh, features and it, it basically uh, you will say it's too expensive for what it offers I would say that uh, is not compared with other um, watches available on the market so um, I I'm I'm really impressed what they did with this uh, this watch so um,
In REST, you have uh, the same uh, the same uh, operating system as you know it already. But this new display is absolutely impressive, and it will be easier to uh, uh, to read the info on it uh, in sunlight. Um, it it will give you this uh, this feeling that you have a huge display and th that that you can uh, you can uh, you can uh, type easier on it. Anyway. The feeling with this watch is great. As you know, um, I have a previous video review with the latest generation Apple Watch Series uh, 8. I decided not to keep that one and to get this one instead. It's a better choice and, you know, only the battery and it's enough, but you get so many, so many features extra compared with um, with the other generations. Let's let's see here if I have um, if I have maximum brightness display and brightness. No, now it's at maximum. Always on, and this is it. Probably I will change this uh, this band. I'm not a huge fan of this system, as I said. And anyway, it's hard for me to get it off, as you see here. It's probably too small for me. I don't know what to say. And to charge it, this it is. This it is. This, it is. Uh, the, uh, this is the system. Okay, magnetic, not a huge, not a very powerful magnet, as you see. Okay. And this is it. I, I'm very, very excited with this, uh, this watch and I uh, expected, um, I, I I waited so long for it so I'm really glad to to have it here